question number 4. The diagram shows the two blocks of mass M and capital M in contact on the frictionless surface. Okay, no friction. A force F is applied on the block of mass M and causes the blocks to move with an acceleration A. So, you apply a force F here. Okay, and this starts moving with an acceleration A. Okay, what about this? This will also continue to move with the same acceleration A here. Okay, and then what is the force that the block of mass M is exerting on the block of mass M? Okay, what force does this M confer on this one? This is the question over here. So, how do we do this? See, what will happen now? So, what is the force acting on this one? Let us find out what is the force acting on this. If M is the mass of the object, A is the acceleration. M into A is nothing but the force which is acting on this one. Let me call F1. Okay, definitely some amount of mass is here. Some is capital M is here. Okay, so this F, this total F, F is equal to F1 plus F2. I can write this as F2 here. F1 is nothing but M into A. And this is nothing but a capital M into A. So, together when I write this across, I can now write this as M plus M into A, okay, which is very clear. Total force, total force applied is equal to total mass multiplied by acceleration, right? So, based on the basis of this one, you can now say F2 is equal to M into A. This is the force acting on the mass M due to M. So, what will happen now? Okay, you are asking what is this force? What will that be force be? This will be the opposite force. See, according to Newton's third law, what does what do you say? Whatever force acts on me, I can give you the same force back to you, which means that you can see M to M into A acts on this one. So, I am also giving back the same amount of force to the mass M here. So, therefore, M into A is the right answer. Capital M into A is the right answer. So, which is the right answer here? Answer B.